Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dean August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I appreciate these new subscribers and let's jump into the swatch video. So guys, I am swatching the Glam & Glitz Color Blend Acrylic Collection. And when I say collection, I don't mean the entire thing, y'all. Okay, I don't got it like that. I got 14 colors. So they sent me this lookbook, which includes the, I think it was about 48 colors that they had primarily released from this um, these type of acrylics and 48 new colors. So they then trapped me. I gotta buy stuff now. So first up is the Nutty Nude and Birthday Suit. So I'm just showing you the acrylics in the jars and then we'll move on to swatching. Next up we've got Touch of Pink, Prima Ballerina, ooh, y'all see the shimmer, right? Yes, 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 yes. Cute as a button. Tickle, tickled pink, was that tickled pink? Pinkaholic, these names are cute. I like these names, these names are cute. White wine. <laughs> wink, wink. Yes, I winked at the end with the last wink. Of course I did, had to. Make it rain, okay. I love this color, just so y'all know, and you can see why. Teal of Approval. Isn't that a cute name? Such a cute name. Mugshot. This is a deep name, but okay, this, this, this name got some depth. Caught red-handed, also a deep name, okay? You, yeah. And last one, oh, blackmail, hold on, it's deep. These, what are they trying to tell me? I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, let's let's start swatching. So I'm swatching in that order that I showed you. So this is birthday suit Guys, I will say that I was I was surprised by this color. I'm not going to lie to you. I do appreciate how Creamy this applied. I love how these acrylic pick up by the way. I'm using my Mia secrets monomer with this um, you know, just to swatch and it worked really good I feel like there are a couple of acrylic, you know, monomers that are like universal. You guys see that little touch of marbling down there? I don't know why that happened. I, that's all I can say. So Nutty Nude, I applied this a bit more wet because I was trying to figure out why birthday suit applied so strange. Do you guys hear my son in the background? Oh my gosh. So I applied this a little bit wet, which everyone's always saying, work with Glam & Glitz wetter than you normally would. And I like to work with acrylic wet. Watch when I flip it over, boom. Not a bit of marbling at all. So I'm just, you know, if you get any of these, work as wet as you can without having it run all over the place. So next up is Touch of Pink, and oh my, can we talk about the softest acrylic, softest pink acrylic that I have ever seen in my life? So many possibilities, so many. Off the top of my head, baby boomers and marbling because this was what the color blend collection is is pretty much for you know it's for the baby boomers it's for the um blends or the frenches whatever you want to call them and it's and it's for the marbling so look at that oh so soft so soft okay prima you guys are not ready for prima ballerina you know how i know i wasn't ready First of all, look at that acrylic in that jar right there. Look at how that's applying. I wasn't ready for this. And I feel like they need to have several colors that are made exactly like Prima Ballerina. Like I would buy that entire collection. If this glitter, these like flakes were like in 12 jars with beautiful, look at that. I could eat that. I, I won't, but I could. Look at that. Yes, you better shine. Okay, so cute as a button. I was surprised by this. Um, even in the jar, I could tell it was like sort of like a, you know, like a coral, but I was really surprised by this. I think somewhere, somehow, it like marbled a little bit. Again, you should work with these acrylics wet, but all in all, I'm really happy with these acrylics. I mean, look at, look at that bead. They pick up so nicely and they release from the brush so nicely and don't even don't even think I got the liquid to powder ratio figured out. These acrylics are making me look good. So you guys see where they marbled a little bit? A little bit. Again, I think it's definitely because I wasn't working as wet as I should be. 
and tickled pink. Um, I love this color too. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna tell you right now, I love all, all the colors. Have you guys tried the color blend collection from Glam and Glitz? Like, if you if you have, what's your favorite color? Are you going to deep dive into the new forty eight colors that they that they released? Because they sent me that book. It's a trap. Mm. It's a trap. I see it for what it is, but I, I they caught me. Look at this pink. Ooh, look at this neon pink, y'all. And you know how sometimes these neons like will marble? This did not marble at all. I don't know how they, ooh, I don't, speechless, just, just watch. Boom, look at that. Not a marble inside, and also it did not stain my monomer and it cleaned off the brush so beautifully. So beautifully. So, white wine, I feel like this is gonna be my favorite milky white. And I feel like, if anything, I may have to add a little bit of acrylic to just make it like more milky, depending on when I need that and who I need it for, like the client that I'm dealing with. But look at this. This is a really, really nice milky white and it applied so nicely. I could kick myself for not having got um, some clear acrylic from Glam and Glitz. I could kill myself for that, but I, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and get the monomer, get some more colors, you know, as soon as my wallet permits it. But this is Wink Wink, and this is, it's definitely darker than white, definitely darker than white wine, and it has like a bit of shimmer in there as well. And I also didn't get a French white from here. What is wrong with me? <sighs> Super naive. Okay, so you're this. I told you guys I love to make it rain. Look at ooh, butter. It just melts. It just melts, you guys. I love these. I love these. So tell me, um, you know, what colors are you guys really happy about for spring? For me, and I, it could be because I'm swatching these colors right now, like, because I'm swatching Teal of Approval, but for me, it's like those, like, minty greens heading into, like, the Tiffany teals and, you know, these kind of greens, because I've seen so much done with them and I realize now just how versatile they are. So this is what I've been super excited for as I've, you know, as spring has been like going on. So like, let me know what colors you guys are super excited for. So with Mugshot, I feel like, okay, so I got Mugshot as well as I got, oh, what was the other one? Caught Red Handed. I personally feel like you need both of them in your collection. Reason why is because Mugshot is a lot darker. Do you know like how you have a French white and then you have a milky white? Okay, Mugshot would be the French white and Caught Red Handed would be the milky white. So you have a really dark, deep red here and then you have sort of like a milkier, more candy apple red. No, more like a cherry, mm, should I say cherry? Anyway, you have a more translucent red in Caught Red Handed, I think. And that's just how I feel. I should have put them next to each other. Okay, so do you see how it's not all that dark? So to me, it's like the French white and the off, I'm sorry, and the milky white. Now, Black Male, yes. The shimmers in here are my entire life. They sort of reflect green, but also reflect silver. I, I just enjoyed this, this color very, very much. Again, cleaned off my brush right away. It didn't stain my monomer. It picked up very nicely. I'm enjoying this color blend collection. I'm going to be getting the entire thing, I think, because all of these colors worked really well for me. And that's, guys, that is the last color that I'll be swatching. So I wanna know in the comments, what was your favorite color? What are you gonna run to grab? Have you had Glam and Glitz before? Are you gonna buy some now? Like, let me know. As always, I am so grateful that you've watched. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to a video of just like really close-ups. Here are your close-ups right here. And then I'm going to 
leave a link to the Glam and Glitz website. You have the names, guys, so you can pick, choose, and refuse which one you want. I'm so super happy to be able to bring swatch videos to you guys because I love watching them, and I'm I'm, be able, I'm so glad to be able to create those for you guys. So. Thank you so much again to my new subscribers. Thank you so much to the people that view but don't subscribe. You all mean so much to me and, and I love you guys so much and I promise to see you guys in the next one. Bye now.